Alright, what's up everybody? My name is Derek. And I'm Kurt. And today we are going to be going over a week one of the NFL season. We're going to tell you our picks and stuff like that. So, uh, for the first game... Wait, no. So, for what, so what, yeah, we're, yeah, what yeah. we're thinking about this yep. is... Uh, not only would we tell you guys our predictions, say, like, for matchups, like like the Titans versus the Browns, say, who Derek thinks is going to win and who I'm going to think is going to win, um, we're going to see whoever can get the most right wins, and the loser will have to do some sort of punishment. And we're thinking, like, every three, two, 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 three weeks. two to four weeks, yeah. you know, that, that would be when, you know... Like our matchup, I guess, what you would call it, you know, or when we would determine the loser. So, so say I do really good one week, but Derek does bad. He has the next couple of weeks to try to catch up. Yeah. So, um, and then we'll do like a forfeit, kind of yeah, like eating also, a bean boozled. Yeah. Or, or, or there, one of these hot chips. Oof. Yeah. Or, or something crazy. You yeah. know, if you have, if you also, if you guys have any ideas, let us know. Um, but we're just going to get right into this. Uh, so we'll start off with the Green Bay Packers versus the the Chicago Bears. Who, who, who are you thinking there? I mean, Aaron Rodgers is back and probably better than what he was last year. Um, and the Packers' defense got a lot better too with Adrian Amos. But I mean, the Bears—they just look good. You taking Trubis the Bears? I'm the the Bears. David Montgomery, Trubisky. Okay. I, I, I mean, just I'm I don't gonna, know. I'm not gonna argue with Khalil it. Khalil Mack. I, I I don't know, but uh, also, well, you know what? First game, first first pick so far. We're going different. I'm going Green Bay Packers. Aaron Rodgers. He's gonna come out. Just trying to prove a point. I feel like. I, I feel um, like that too. But I just I think the Bears defense is too much for him to handle this year. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. They, they played two times this year. Maybe even more. I forget. I don't know. The Bears lost to Amos. So, but anyway, let's get on to the next game. The Chiefs, Chiefs versus Jaguars. Well, what? there's only one team that I think I can pick, and that's the Chiefs. I, Patrick Mahomes. I mean, yeah, I, you know, I'm going to go Chiefs too, but I would not be surprised if the Jaguars come out and surprise everybody and win yeah, because yeah. Um, uh, I their was, defense did get a lot better this yeah, year with the and, draft. And, and it takes a, having Nick Foles and like, you know, a quarterback that is more consistent and a solid quarterback, that's going to take pressure off the defense having to be on the field all the time. So I am going Chiefs, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Jaguar, or if it's at least a close game, you know. Yeah. Um, all right, so next game, I, me personally, I feel like this is a tough one: the Falcons versus the Vikings. Well, I have Matt Ryan in our fantasy league, so yeah, I have to go with the Falcons. I just feel like the Falcons are a better team this year, but the Vikings, you cannot, you know, diss on them. They they have a really good team. Kirk Cousins didn't do as good as everybody thought last year, but, I mean, he might be coming out here proving a point this year. We don't know, but I'm going to go with the Falcons. You know, I was – oh, man. I know the Falcons did not have a very good defense last year, but that was because of injuries. Yeah. And I think they have everybody back. Uh, but the Vikings have Dalvin Cook back. Uh, you know – I'm going to go Falcons, too. I just think the Falcons are going to be really, really good this year. Yeah, um, and their defense was, like, all hurt last year. Yeah, they year. got, like, Keanu Neal back. Um, oh, Deion Jones. Deion Jones. Is that his name? I, I, I keep, like, his name is messed I'm not There's right. There's a lot but, of Deons. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But, all right, so let's move on to the next game. The Tennessee Titans versus the Cleveland Browns. What are you thinking? Uh, I mean, that's, a, that's still a pretty hard one. I might go with the Browns just because, I mean – their team looks good on paper, yeah. but depending on how they, you know, go out and do their thing, I don't know. But I'm, the Browns, I'm going to go with the Browns. I'm going with the Cleveland Browns, too. The only way the Titans win, I feel like, is if they give Derrick Henry the ball, Henry the ball every single time. That's the only way. Yeah. Um, I think the Browns have a solid defense. You can't deny their their offense it's yeah. good it should be good you know this stuff happens all the time where offense looks good on paper and stuff but just doesn't happen but i think it's going to be okay um I, I think we're done talking about that one let's go to the next one buffalo bills versus the jets this is probably the hardest one we have to pick this this I, week i guess i don't know i, I mean that. the bills and jets they aren't that good but they're still a pretty decent team both of them are <laughs> Uh, they're still like rebuilding. The Jets did get a lot of good players in the the draft and the off season, but you know what? I'm gonna go with the controversial pick, and I'm gonna go with the Bills. 
Yeah, I'm taking the Jets, man. I think Le'Veon Bell's going to come out and blow up. Sam Darnold's second year, I think he's going to do good. Josh uh, Allen. They also, with what receivers? I just think he's going to come out and prove a point. Okay, we'll see. what point does he have to prove? I mean, last year, I mean, he didn't do that good. Okay, well, second we'll see. Season. We'll see. But, uh, all right, next up, Baltimore Ravens versus Miami Dolphins. I mean, in my personal opinion, no offense to Dolphin fans, but... And to be honest, I don't think the Ravens are like that good of a team either. But no. I just think the Dolphins are going to be like the bad team this year, the worst team. If the, I mean, maybe Fitz Magic could uh, fix that, but I'm going Baltimore Ravens. I'm going Ravens too. Yeah, so let's just move on from that one. Not much, not much to talk about. Uh, Redskins versus Eagles. Well, who are you taking? I'm going to go with the Eagles. I yep. feel like Carson Wentz last year needs to prove a point this year that he can stay healthy and take his team to where he needs it to be. But the Redskins, I I mean, they could be good this year, but they could not be good this year. It, it all yeah. depends on uh, you, you gotta everything. Go, you you know? got to go Eagles, man. You got to go Eagles. The Eagles are just stacked. They had Deshaun Jackson. They have Alshon Jeffrey. They they picked up Jordan Howard. Yep. And also, they still have like all those other receiving backs that are nice to have. Carson Wentz. Oh, Zach Ertz. Come on. like, And their defense is good, too. Uh, you just, you know, and... Yeah, I'm just that's all I'm saying about the Eagles. I think they're stacked. I think they're gonna be a solid team this year. Yep. If Carson Wentz can stay healthy. Yes. But uh all right, Rams or Panthers, who are you taking? That that is a hard one. You um, know what? I'll go first on this one. Rams, come on. I'm going Rams. Now nah, I am not saying no more. I'm going Rams. What are you taking? I mean I might go Rams too, but Christian McCaffrey, I mean Yeah, okay. I mean the Grand but, have Todd Gurley. Yeah, but I'm, I'm going to go with the Rams, too. Yeah. They, they look like a really good team this year again, so. All right, now, now the, it, uh, it's going to uh, – Colts versus the Chargers. This one makes me feel bad. I'm, I'm taking the Chargers, man. I think the Colts have a good defense, and they did have a good offense until Andrew Luck retires. Yeah. Retired. It sucked that he retired, but injuries and, you know, just – it just sucks. I just I, I I don't know if I can take the Colts either, you know. Yeah, I know. I mean, Jacoby Brissett. Don't get me wrong. Jacoby Brissett is not a bad quarterback. No, but um, he's gonna have to do some proving for yeah, me to he, take he's the not Colts, Andrew especially Luck. especially against a team like the Chargers. The yeah. Chargers are good. Chargers that, that, are good. I mean, I I don't want to say it's a bad matchup for him as per his first start this season, but it kind of is. Yeah. So you taking the Chargers? I'm taking the Chargers. And we're pretty similar. There's some teams, you know. Yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see who wins these. But um, Bengals versus Seahawks. Who you taking? I'm gonna go with Seahawks. Yeah, oh, he, I'm going with Seahawks too, man. Without AJ, that 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 the Bengals offense just you know. I don't even know. I, I, like, their defense and, and their is, new coach, so I don't know what to expect. Too? I, their I defense no is okay, I guess. I mean, I don't think it's nothing. I don't think I would. I wouldn't say their defense is good. I'd say maybe okay. I don't know much about the Bengals defense. I know they lost Vontez, which might be a good thing. Who knows? Honestly, yeah. But um, but let's just go on to the next game. Giants versus Cowboys. Who are you taking? You, you already know who I'm taking. You're, with this oh, you're one. taking the Giants. I'm taking the Giants, dude. Saquon. I feel like Eli mm -hmm. Manning has something to prove this year. Probably, Eli Eli does play good against the Cowboys, and most likely it's going to be his last season. So no, he, no, Eli said he wants to play multiple seasons. More, more? Seasons. okay. Yeah. Uh, probably not for the Giants though, especially yeah. if they're starting Daniel Jones. Uh, the, uh, Eli Manning might go somewhere else, most likely. Which I I would hate for Eli Manning to go somewhere else. I want him to. You what know, if he went somewhere else and won a Super Bowl? I mean. Wouldn't you want that? I would want that, but okay then. But as a Giants fan, he's been there my whole life. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter. You want the best for him, right? So, yeah. And that's not with the Giants. Okay. I, uh, I would have taken the Giants there if Derek didn't, because you know I feel like the Giants may might uh, pull off the upset. But upset. huh? Upset. Yeah, that's an upset, Derek. Uh, but I'm taking the Cowboys, especially they just signed Zeke. And I got Zeke really late in my draft, so and I also got Christian McCaffrey. So in, in fantasy, my running backs are looking like Christian McCaffrey and Ezekiel Elliott. So so next up, 49ers or Buccaneers? Who are you taking, Garoppolo or Winston? I I want to take the 49ers, but I don't think they'll win. I I want to take the Bucks. I feel like the Bucks just have the better team this year. Um, Is that who you're going with? I'm Final going answer. With the Bucks. Okay, yeah, I like the Buccaneers too. Uh, Bruce Arians. Uh, Mike Evans, Jameis Winston. I like that team. I like the offense. I think their defense is going to be better this year. 
So, all right, let's let's uh let's go to the next game. This is more of a uh, that's a weird game. Yeah, it, it's not like a like two good teams, I guess. Yeah. It, um, so the Lions versus the Cardinals. And wow. no offense, if any of these teams are Your are like favorites. yeah, so like say we pick like when we pick the Chargers and your favorite team is the Colts. No offense, we really do like the Colts, but we yeah. just think the Chargers are gonna win this week. Um, Lions or Cardinals? Yeah, Lions or Cardinals? Who are you taking? This is a kind of a toss up, to be honest with you. I'm probably gonna take the Lions. Okay, you're taking the Lions. They they got that nice new tight end. Um, T.J. Hawkinson. Yeah, T.J. Um, Hawkinson. I do like the Lions this week. But you know what? I'm just going to make it interesting. I'm taking the Cardinals. Yo. Kyler Murray, David Johnson, Larry Fitzgerald. Who knows? You know, new coach. You never know. Um, maybe maybe the Cardinals come out and surprise some people. Yeah. Um, you ready to move on to the next one? Oh, yeah. This is a big one. Uh, this is a big one. Patriots versus Steelers. Brady, the, the GOAT, <sighs> the GOAT, which I think he is probably the best quarterback to play at. You know, I, I, I really don't like the Patriots, and I – Kind of like the Steelers. I, I want to go with the Steelers, but I don't know if they. You're going with the goat. I'm going with the goat. Oh, I hate I to say it. I hate Giants to say fan it. rooting for Tom Brady. I hate to say it. But... No, but uh, I'm going with the Steelers. Honestly, after everything that happened last year, I think Big Ben and the Steelers are going to come out here, come come out this week and just try and prove a point. I think I don't know if it's going to be a blowout, but I think the Steel I. I think the Steelers are gonna win for sure. Um, the next one. Oof. Yeah. Okay. This is this is a tough one. There's some tough games. Okay. Uh, okay. The last two Monday night, two Monday night games on the yeah. first week. So let's just get into this. Uh, Texans versus Saints. Who are you taking? I'm taking the Saints. Yeah. Yeah. I'm liking the Saints. Drew Brees, especially after how their season ended last year. Oh yeah. Saints will come out, prove a point. Uh. Yeah, I gotta go Saints. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Texans are gonna be really good. Yeah. I mean, they were really good last year. They're gonna be good but again this year. They did lose Lamar Miller. Yeah, they did lose a running game, but they picked up uh, Carlos Hyde. Yeah, Carlos Hyde. And uh, they also have Duke Johnson Jr. now. Um, I mean, it's still it's still gonna be a really decent running game, but is yeah. it gonna be uh, the same as with Lamar Miller? I, I have think, no idea. This I think year, the Texans you know? are really good, but I think the Saints are just they're just gonna come out there with a vengeance. Yep. Um, all right, last game. You ready for this last pick? Yeah. All right, Broncos versus Raiders, man. It's a, it's I'm, an iffy one. Um, I'm going to go with the the pick that you probably weren't going to. I'm going to go with the Broncos. Okay, yeah, you're right. I'm taking the Raiders, man. I think Antonio Brown's just going to come out here and prove a point. Derek Carr and Antonio Brown. And then the that big stud of a running back, Josh Jacobs, he's just going to maybe three touchdowns. Who knows? I, I, I want to see Joe Flacco do... Oh, don't get me wrong. I do like Joe Flacco, and he does have, like, Emmanuel Sanders and stuff. But I think John Gruden and the Raiders are just going to come out there and prove a point. I have no idea. But yeah, so that, that is our picks. Um, tell us who you guys picked down in the comments for yep. each game. If you um, would disagree with any of us. Yeah. Uh, we picked a lot of the same teams. Honestly, I think there was, like, four or five picks that we picked differently. Yeah. But that, you know, that's our picks. Uh, if you disagree with any, let us know. Um so, also, don't forget punishments. Yeah. If you have any punishment ideas, let us know. Also, and like, I think right now we're thinking like four weeks f until someone does a punishment. So there's yeah. four weeks before someone is declared a loser uh, or a winner. Um, if you guys want to see like two weeks instead or three weeks or maybe even like, I don't know, may maybe just at the end of all 17 weeks. Who knows? Yeah, we don't know. It's, yeah. It's up let to us you know guys. what you guys think. Also, punishment ideas. But that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. Until next time, peace.